Yo guys, in today's video, I'm showing you the best void strap settings to boost FPS and get low ping in Roblox. I'll walk you step by step from setting up game mode to unlocking CPU power to using void strap fast flags for smooth gameplay. So stay tuned till the end because these settings will make your Roblox run faster than ever before. Step one, set up game mode and graphics for smooth Roblox performance. The first thing we are going to do is prepare Windows so Roblox can run as smoothly as possible. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar at the bottom of your screen. Type Game Mode in the search box. When the Game Mode option shows up, click it to open the settings page. Now turn Game Mode on. Game Mode helps by stopping unnecessary background tasks, so your computer focuses more power on Roblox. This gives smoother gameplay and higher FPS. Next. We need to adjust the graphics settings. Again, click on the Windows search bar and type graphics settings. Open it. Inside this window, press the browse button. A file browser will pop up. Use it to go to the folder where Roblox is installed on your computer. Inside that folder, look for the file named robloxplayerbeta.exe. Select it and add it to the list. Once Roblox is added to the list, click on its name and then press options. A new window will appear, in that window, select High Performance, then click Save. This setting forces your graphics card to give its best performance to Roblox instead of splitting power with other apps. By doing this, Roblox will run faster with higher FPS and smoother graphics. Making these changes ensures your computer is fully ready to run Roblox at its best performance. Step two, boost Roblox FPS using void strap and fast flags. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. In this step, we will improve Roblox performance with a tool called Voidstrap Launcher. This launcher is similar to Blockstrap, but it has extra features. Start by downloading Voidstrap Launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. Once the download is finished, install it. After installation, click the Windows search bar, type Voidstrap, and open it. Inside Voidstrap, go to the Settings tab, in the Integrations tab, you will see settings similar to what you'd find in Blockstrap. For example, it has player message logs and some extra options, but nothing too important. Now open the Deployment tab. Here you'll find useful features. For example, Multi-Instance Launching, which lets you open multiple Roblox games at the same time. You'll also see a feature called Cross-Game Teleportation. This allows you to move between different Roblox games more easily. I haven't tested it yet, but it's a nice addition. Next, go to the Modifications tab. Here you'll see familiar options like the Mods folder, old Roblox sounds, and other features that Blockstrap also has. Now comes something new, the Fast Flag Editor. In this editor, you'll notice small green check marks and red X's next to flags. The green check marks show preset flags, and the red X's show custom ones. This makes it very easy to see which settings are built in and which ones you've added yourself. At the top of Voidstrap, there are also buttons like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. Plus, it has profiles, which let you save your flag settings for later. These extra tools make Voidstrap even more powerful than Blockstrap. Now it's time to add your fast flags. Just like before, click Import JSON, paste the copied flags, and save them. Before testing Roblox, go to the Fast Flag Settings tab. This section has many ready-made Fast Flag settings you can simply enable without typing anything. These can instantly help lower ping and increase FPS. Voidstrap also has Appearance and Shortcuts tabs, just like Blockstrap. But it also has one unique thing, AI Chat. This feature is still in beta, but in the future, you will be able to ask it questions about Fast Flags and settings. When you're done, save all your settings, launch Roblox, and test your FPS using Voidstrap. Step three, unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Your CPU processor has many cores, which are like small workers inside your PC. Sometimes Windows turns some of them off to save energy. This is called CPU parking, and it can make games slower. To fix this, we will use a tool called Unpark CPU, which is included in your boost pack. When the tool opens, you will see a list of all your CPU cores. If any of them say parked, that means those cores are turned off. To fix this, click the Unpark button. 
This will turn them all on so your computer can use full power. Unparking your CPU cores makes Roblox faster and smoother, especially when the game has lots of players, builds, or effects happening at the same time. Step four, use MSI Utility to make your GPU respond faster. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. The GPU graphics card helps display Roblox graphics. Sometimes the system settings don't let it respond quickly, which can cause lag. MSI Utility helps your GPU work faster and better. Open the MSI Utility V3 from your Boost Pack folder. In the list that appears, find your dedicated GPU. This will be something like NVIDIA or AMD Radeon. Check the box under the MSI column next to your GPU. This allows the GPU to use a faster way to talk to your PC. Now, set the interrupt priority to high. This tells your computer to pay extra attention to your GPU, which reduces delay. Also, if you see your integrated GPU like Intel UHD graphics, do the same for that as well. Click Apply, then close the tool. With these settings, your GPU can send and receive data faster, making Roblox run with less lag and better graphics performance. Step 5. Use Throttle Stop to keep CPU speed consistent. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. While playing, your CPU can sometimes slow itself down to avoid getting too hot. Throttle Stop helps keep your CPU running at a steady speed, so your games run smoother. Open the Throttle Stop folder in your Boost Pack. Double-click ThrottleStop.exe to launch the program. Choose the Game Power Profile and make sure to check the High Performance box. This tells your CPU to stay in performance mode. Do not touch advanced settings like clock mode or set multiplier unless you know exactly what you're doing. Check the box that says Disable Turbo. This helps your CPU stay cool while still performing well. Click Turn On, then click Save to keep your settings. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background when you play Roblox. This helps prevent slowdowns and keeps your gameplay consistent. Step 6. Disable startup apps for faster system. Right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. In Task Manager, click the Startup tab. Go through the list of programs. For the ones you don't need at startup, right-click and select Disable. Don't disable system apps, only things like Spotify, Discord, or other extra programs. After that, restart your PC so the changes apply. Now your PC will boot faster, Roblox will run with higher FPS, lower ping, and overall smoother performance.